How's it going over here, Yankees fans? Yet again, it's Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? I was reading an article that the NY Daily News just released, and they also featured this topic on their back cover. Now, if you have been following this channel for quite some time now, I have stated numerous times my displeasure with having Stanton as your primary DH. He's no, he's no left fielder. I don't want to hear fans saying, oh, Stanton is a left fielder. The Yankees don't see him as a defensive asset, I'm guessing. But they do see Andujar as one. Makes absolutely no sense. And they see Boyd as one. We all saw it in the beginning of the season of 2018. Everybody went down, all these left fielders. McKinney, uh, Frazier, etc. They all went down. And where were Stanton? Oh, a DH. And you know what happened? All season long, Gary Sanchez obviously cannot sustain a full season being a catcher because his body breaks down, obviously. Look, I like Stanton. I think he's great. But if he's going to be your primary DH, it makes absolutely zero sense for many reasons. From a marketing standpoint, all of these guys that are DH material, Voight, Judge, Gary Sanchez, etc., Nobody could tell me they would not benefit from, let's say, being a DH once in a while. Just as 2017, that 2017 team was great because DH, that DH role wasn't clogged up as much. Sure, you had Holiday, but guess what? He was sat out come playoff time. Also, again, I am no Stanton hater. You guys all saw, I said, hey, why isn't Stanton making the All-Star team this year and a 40-year-old or a player close to 40 in Nelson Cruz is taking his place. Hey, if MLB wants to market itself, what kind of move was that? That was pathetic. You guys saw me stick up for Stanton. And I will continue to stick up for Stanton if the Yankees make the right move and say, Hey, Stanton is a left fielder, not a DH. So if they're going to market him as a DH, that move for Stanton makes absolutely zero sense. Zero. And it's going to look worse when the National League adopts DH because you're going to have all these players making pennies, DHing, and being productive. And Stanton is going to be making about $32 million per season just to DH. Then you're going to have guys making about, what, 500 k per season? Putting up numbers maybe similar to Stanton? I mean, that's laughable. So the reason I'm making this video is because the NY Daily News is talking about it. They're saying, hey, if the Yankees fall out on Bryce Harper or Manny Machado, it's the fault of Jacoby Ellsbury and John Carlos Stanton. What's the use of arguably having the most marketable player in all of sports? Because John Carlos Stanton can be a highly marketable player in a market like New York once he gets going. What's the point of having him if he's going to be your DH Make him a left fielder. Have the fans see John Carlos Stanton all game long. Because this is the argument with baseball. Baseball can't get popular anymore because you always see guys like Aaron Judge step up to the plate four times. And in the NBA, you're seeing LeBron James all game long. Yeah. So take that recipe and you're subtracting it with John Carlos Stanton. Wow. Meanwhile. He's making all of this money just to DH. Makes absolutely zero sense. And when the National League adopts DH, that trade for John Carlos Stanton is probably going to go down as one of the worst trades ever. Because not only one, it prohibited the Yankees from obtaining Harper or Machado. And number two, he's just going to age. And he's just going to be a DH making millions of dollars while the DH role is not going to be exclusive anymore. People are going to make pennies compared to him. Look at the all-time greats like Bonds, etc. They play the outfield until they retired. You can't tell me Stanton can't do the same. If you're devaluing his defense and valuing the defense of Van Duhar and Voigt at the same time, you guys make absolutely zero sense. So with that being said, Yankees fans, it was put out today that the Yankees did offer Machado a contract or 
not official or whatever the number was, 220 million for seven to eight years. So a lot of MLB insiders are saying that the Yankees are not out on Machado specifically. But when the NY Daily News is putting out things like blame Stanton or Ellsbury if the Yankees don't get Harper or Machado, that is very alarming. And you guys know I have been trying to, you know, make it work all offseason long to where the Yankees land a Harper or Machado. Hey, I can tell you guys I tried. But if the Yankees want to stick to this formula that makes absolutely zero sense, that's on them. I hope how has it in him to make a move like obtaining a Harper or Machado 22, 26 year olds. And if he doesn't, he's going to get hounded and hounded and hounded by Yankees fans for years to come because he didn't make the move that he was supposed to make. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Before it hits the front page.